Welcome to our guide on running for a board director and the nomination procedure. I'm Jenny from the HKSI Institute. In this video, our member Adrian has some questions about the board director election and the process. Let's walk through the key points. I'm an ordinary member. Can I run for board director? Of course. All HKSI Institute senior fellows, fellow members and ordinary members are eligible to run for board directorship. That's great. How can I apply? You can find the application and nomination guidelines and procedures, along with the related form and letters from our website. To participate in the board election, you first need to complete and submit the application form, which includes three parts. Personal information, personal statement, and declarations and consent. As a quick reminder, once you submitted the application form, you won't be able to change your business sector. There are six business sectors to choose from. Academia, Corporate Finance Group, Fund Management Industry, Futures Industry, Investment Analysts Group and Securities Industry. You can refer to this year's guidelines for the number of directors' vacancies in each sector. Is there anything I should look out for when filling in the application form? Well, remember to provide all the required details in the form and the business sector that you will be representing. Meanwhile, on the personal statement section, you must prepare it in both English and Chinese. It should include your academic and professional qualifications, as well as your reasons for wanting to represent the particular business sector. Also, you may include your employment history from the last 10 years and your involvement in HKSI Institute activities. This is an opportunity for voting members to know you better. When and how should I submit the application form? You have to submit the completed application form and the signed declarations and consent to the HKSI Institute office or to AGM at hksi.org by October 16, 2024, 6 p.m. After the deadline, we will not accept any applications. After submitting the application form, you must secure support from not less than one board director who is qualified to vote and two voting members during the nomination period. Get someone who knows you well as your proposer, as they will need to describe your specific attributes and past contributions to the industry in the nomination letter. There are two types of nomination letters based on your proposer's role. It is essential to provide the correct letter to your proposer so they can complete and duly sign the appropriate nomination letter. Each proposer can nominate only one candidate. Nominating more than one will make all nominations from that proposed invalid. How can I find out who the directors and voting members are to seek their nominations? Once you have submitted the application form, the Secretariat will invite all prospective candidates to attend a briefing session on the nomination process, followed by a session with our board directors. This is a great opportunity to connect with our directors. To find our voting members, you can use the member search function on our website under our individual membership page. Voting members include senior fellows, fellow members, and ordinary members. Please note that associate member and student member are not eligible to vote. I'm a voting member, so can I propose for my own nomination? Good question. Just to clarify, self-nomination is not allowed. When is the nomination deadline? The nomination period lasts for three weeks and will end on November 12, 2024 at 6 p.m. You must ensure that all the nomination letters are submitted to the HKSI Institute Hong Kong office or to AGM at hksi.org before the deadline. Make sure to get those letters in on time to secure your spot as a candidate in the board director election. Here's the key dates for the application and nomination of candidates for the board election. If you have any inquiries, please email us at agm at hksiorg or visit our website under our general meeting section.